Hi, my name is John, and today the curtains are closed because we need a little bit of extra darkness to see clearly on the camera the now playing screen on the front of the Unity Atom by name that I'm using here to power this pair of compact 7 ES3 loudspeakers from Harbeth. What I really like about the Unity Atom is the seamless way in which we can move between different streaming services. So right now we're with SoundCloud, I get my phone, and I can move to Rune. So if I have the Rune app ready, I can say maybe I want some Fluke. Click play now, and there it is. Six wheels on my wagon by Fluke, with the now playing screen on the Unity Atom. I've got seamless interchangeability between all sorts of streaming services like Spotify, basically anything Chromecast will do, and Rune, and I can do it all from my smartphone, from the comfort of my couch over here. But I wondered, what would you do if you didn't have a name Unity Atom? And what would you do if you wanted Rune and Chromecast and the seamless interchangeability between the two, but you wanted the display to be bigger, much bigger? So I went ahead and did exactly that. This is a short throw projector from LG. It's, I think it's called the PH450. It's about this big, it's 500 euros. And right now it's giving me a nice warm fire courtesy of YouTube. So you can see its display is bigger than the average TV. It's obviously not quite as tonally dense, but it's on my wall. And that's important because between the speakers, I hate having a TV. So when I turn the projector off, the TV essentially vanishes. I'm not after ultimate sound quality here. What I'm after here is something I can look at whilst listening to SoundCloud or to Rune or to Spotify because the big problem with digital audio is it's just so invisible. There's nothing to look at when you're playing music. You've got, like with my vinyl collection over here, I can put it on a turntable over here and I can look at the turntable going round and round and round. I can look at the cover art. I've got stuff to look at whilst I'm listening. With digital audio, I don't. So the screen on this LG projector is more than satisfying for me. It's, I, I'm really happy with it. It's got a three and a half mil headphone socket, which spits analog. Its internal DAC is pretty weak as we'd expect. So I can't really use that. It's got a, a Bluetooth output, but it's only SBC. Again, it sounds pretty weak. So what we need to do is when we're feeding this with a streamer, we need to get the digital audio out before it goes into the projector. You might be wondering why I don't just get a PC or a Mac and play SoundCloud, Rune, Spotify Connect, Tidal, Cobos, all of those, and have USB coming out of the, the computer and going into a DAC into my main system over here or into the back of the, the Unity Atom. Well, the answer is that if I have a Mac or a PC over here, every time I want to change service from, say, Rune, to SoundCloud, I've got to get off my couch, come over here and make that change. I can't do it from the comfort of my couch. I can't make those changes. They're not seamless. I can't use my smartphone very easily to move from SoundCloud to Spotify to YouTube to Netflix. So a computer is really no good in this situation. What I have used instead is a Google Chromecast, because as we know, a Chromecast is now Rune ready but it also obviously provides all the services that are Chromecast enabled on a phone. So that includes Spotify, SoundCloud, Cobras, Tidal, they're the main four that I use. Let's start with Rune. You can click play and you can see Rune starting up here. So I've got Built to Spill playing here on Rune through the Google Chromecast. I've got a nice now playing screen with a band photo, the cover art of the album. But you're probably wondering how I'm getting the audio out of my Chromecast because it has no audio output. Well, for that, I'm using a box about this big that's an HDMI splitter. It's 20 euros from Amazon. And what it does, it takes HDMI in and spits out HDMI, so that's going into the projector here. But the Toslink output is going into a DAC over here. So that's what Rune looks like with a Chromecast. But the great thing about this is I do get my seamless transition to a different service. Let's find something on SoundCloud. Let's go for Tommy 47s Resident Advisor podcast from last week. If I click on Chromecast on my phone, you can see this is changing behind me. Now SoundCloud is playing, and I've got a SoundCloud now playing screen. And again, I get the waveform, artist name, I get a picture. Most importantly of all, I have something to look at whilst I'm listening to music. 
and it's big and it's awesome. And obviously I can run YouTube through this with my phone, I can run Netflix through this with my phone, and I can move in between them seamlessly. So I've got this kind of cool streaming front end which comprises a projector, a Chromecast, and an HDMI splitter, and I can choose to have the display on or not. This will still work even if the display is not on. When I watch YouTube, when I watch Netflix, it comes out through the Harbaths. I think that's really cool, don't you? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up just there. If you have an experience regarding this kind of setup to share, please leave a comment down below. My name is John Darko and I will see you next time. Ciao.